what's up? In Dallas, Texas, uh, first of all, the heat, how are you liking the heat here? <laughs> it's hot, it's really hot, but it, I'm used to it sort of with Puerto Rico. It's a little bit different type of heat, but Puerto Rico's really hot. So, so Jake, you added uh, Shane Mosley, no, as your trainer being in your corner. Why Shane Mosley, and what experience has he brought to you for this fight against Nate Diaz? I mean, he's a world champion, so, you know, just that experience that he has in the ring making me better, and we had worked together on my first professional fight, so it was good to sort of go back to the basics, and we really worked on a lot of footwork and balance this camp. Jake, you've got a Netflix documentary out, and you saw the shows how boxing was an outlet for you. What would life be like for you without boxing as an outlet? Because you've had some tough times. What would life be like? Yeah, I probably would have been in jail or dead for sure without boxing. It gave me the routine and discipline that I so desperately needed in my life, and uh, boxing was the only thing that basically helped me out of this hole that I was in. You've done a lot for boxing, promoting women's boxing, and sort of making statements around the world in terms of your platform. How important is it the message that you want to send to maybe people who don't have a purpose in life that you can turn up to a gym even if you don't want to do it professional and it can change your life? No, 100%. That's why I wanted to share boxing with the world because of what it did for my life. It gave me purpose, meaning, got me in shape got me sober so many things and so because of that it saved my life and anyone should take up the sport of boxing if they feel like they're in a dark place or a weird place if they feel lost or something like that it helped me and I know it could help others Jake and then uh, Uncut on Netflix yeah. so you were real you and Logan were very honest about kind of like the issues you guys were having you know on YouTube and stuff like that and you guys kind of went through it and, and came back to each other just talk about that moment just when I don't know who reached out to who what, what was it that kind of you know the, all the branch was extended and now you, know, you guys are working right now yeah I just said to Logan I, I texted him I was like this is so stupid that we're like fighting like this and we're brothers at the end of the day and we should just like squash all of this and come, come together and uh, he agreed and that, that was the mature thing to do but you know what do you expect when you throw two kids into Hollywood with millions of dollars and fame and just competitive at nature built into them that's just going to happen so it is what it is. Wow, we see a lot of familiar faces in Julian on Love. I don't see BJ Flores, but can you tell us uh, what's going on with BJ Flores and why he wasn't in the camp with this time around? Yeah, he's more, he's more involved as like a boxing consultant, but BJ's a good guy, we have a great relationship, we text all the time. Hi Jake. Hi, was there anything that you learned with your fight with Tommy Fury that you have, you're not going to be able to repeat that same mistake, so have no more losses? Yeah, I think proper preparation. Before I was trying to squeeze in a camp into seven weeks, was sick, tried to push push past a bunch of things going on in my life, and uh, yeah, there's no shortcuts in this sport, and I tried to take shortcuts, and I think that was the biggest lesson overall, and just uh, having the best team around me to push me and, and to protect me as much as possible. Most definitely, and I know that KSI has you on this win against Nate Diaz. Do you also have his back with the Tommy Fury fight? Do you see him winning that, or what do you see happening? No, I think he's going to get knocked out by Tommy in less than five rounds. All right, last Thank you. Yeah, you, all your in, own insecurities and fears and um, places where you lack get exposed in the sport of boxing. And so it makes you an amazing man, amazing person, and an amazing athlete because you can't cut any corners. In team sports, you know, I played growing up, you can, you know, you miss the catch, you miss this, it's like the, the whole team loses. In boxing, it's just you, so you have to basically be perfect. Looking for the knockout.